Time, which premieres on HBO Max this Thursday. Congrats on the show, uh, Gillian. For anyone who hasn't caught up with it, tell us what it's about and who you play. Yes, yeah, so I play a 10-year-old, and I love it because I don't have to change my voice at all. And as you can tell from that clip, it's nothing like what I was like at a 10-year-old. For she's sure. Crashing a stolen school bus, but it's the same creator as The Life and Times of Tim. It's a really funny, dry... Um, it's basically a bunch of adults playing 10-year-olds, and I've never had more fun. Now, you did quite a genius thing. Like, like I think quite a few sort of voice artists, uh, recording artists, did during lockdown. You built your own <laughs> recording studio in your house. How did you do that? Is it difficult to do? Is it really high-tech? Well, if I built my own recording studio, you mean convert a guest bedroom closet, <laughs> yes, I did that. And by research, you mean I just shoved every blanket and towel I owned onto some shelves and called it a day, then yes, I am now an acoustical <laughs> engineer. And does it work? It, it all works, though. I think it works pretty well, because my neighbor has been under construction for 10 months, and you couldn't hear anything in that clip, so... Well, look at you. This could be a whole new business venture for you. I'd like to rent it out. Yeah, I got some okay. voiceover work Great. I need to do. Well, there you go. Or you I could, could come to you. I mean, I'm... You bring really... a towel. Yes, I've tape. got, got so it. many beach towels. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mayim, you were, as we all know, in a very, very popular sitcom when you were younger, the, the sitcom Blossom. There's lots of reboots happening out there in the world right now, reunions and reboots and all those things. Would you ever... Would you be open to the idea of doing a Blossom reboot? Would you do that today? Um, so, Don Rio, who created Blossom, mm. um, he and I actually, for several years, have been working on a, a drama reboot. Oh. That, um, yeah, we, um, we really feel like the characters are, are interesting and would be interesting now, but we really wanted to kind of turn it on its head. So, that's something we've been kind of working on. Um, I met Don when I was 13 years old, and... He was like my weird best friend, who was the age I am now when he met me, which always felt weird. But now we're closer in age, it feels like. Yeah. And he's like my dinosaur best friend, and we still want to create together. So. I'd be into this. Did you watch Blossom when you were growing up? Well, in addition to dressing me, my mother was also very controlling about television watching. <laughs> so, no, I'm so sorry. It's but fine. It, it was, I, was, I was having to sneak it. I would lay on the floor and peek up and look out the window to see when her car was coming down the street. And she had realized the last channel watched button on the remote. Oh. So I had to memorize two channels, two channels. and quickly turn it off. You wanted to watch museum specials, though. Oh, yeah. I would have. Yeah, that nun who would give tours <laughs> about art, that I would have really liked. I liked Poirot. I would watch, you know, mysteries. Um, I would watch basically anything that was on television until my mother came home from work. Well, we can only hope she's watching tonight. And we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>